Hello there, Polishlix here, this is Tushingra46 plus one is, and yes, I'm sure she's going running, so she's training. I wonder if she'll fall again. And the moment of truth. The moment of truth. And... Of course. Again. Who knows? Maybe never. It's just a damn scarecrow. Since the straw target was replaced by a scarecrow, her predicament continued. But she couldn't learn at all the sharpness to be able to kill a person. By looking at the situation, she's only wasting time. Moreover, speaking of the essential master that I call the Rotten Nun. Well, Suguha calls her. I like her. As usual, when there are no customers, she's usually drinking alcohol. This damn Nun. Again, that's the thoughts of Suguha. Although she's fully aware of the situation. It looks that, like... It looks that she has no intentions of teaching nothing to Emoshiji. Asamo's attitude which is only standing there and sweating is making me irritated. Yeah, like... You are the one to talk, actually. Your training was... Well... Not any better at all. I would say even it was even worse. We have welcomed to summer. The summer. Cut it out already. We don't have many days until the Maruyama meeting, so do something already. She can't do anything about her personality, you dumbass. That's right, Sukha, you are a dumbass as well. Hey, Yabushi! That kind of forceless trust will make the opponent able to dodge it. Do you remember what the nun told you? Because you can do something about technique and physic, afterwards there's only the hard problem remaining. I'm sure you understand that. Eboshi, if you even think it's useless now, when it actually becomes decided on a revenge, do you really think you can pull it off? If you think about it like that, I think it's useless. Even though you can get it out by training, by planning on even getting this, those feelings or out in real combat is impossible. That power is the power to pull through. In any case, in your situation with your chest power, it is totally useless. So, so exactly. That's true. No, be blunt because... Not being blunt won't work on her. I'm telling you this because you're not progressing like this. If you rely on being able to pull through, then what will you do if you can't? Me? So? Well, no. Even if you make me a sample. Damn it! Forcing me up on stage like this. What? Go back to drinking and having a good time by yourself, will you? That's not it. I shot before when I cut the tummy mat, right? I can cut this character easily. <laughs> leave it to me! That's right, leave it to me. This nun, he's looking straight through me. Generally, by cutting it, I think I won't fail. But by saying show me a sample is making me more or less nervous. Ah, uh, well. If my sample could be of use for a Moshishi. 
The scarecrow is in front of me, and I silently draw my sword. The opponent is on several levels more easily killable target than a human. Without strain, I need to put my consciousness into the top of the sword. And change the nervousness to concentration. Huh. Thank you, thank you. The scarecrow is front of me, the half of the top sideways vanished because of my slash from the shoulder. Okay. Good. I wish she was dangling from a proud looking lecture, and if I would fail, it would be have been horrible to look at her. But I didn't give such intentions. Whew. While I was doing a relaxed smile, I sheathed my sword with a hand that looks like it's shivery. And then. Eh? Yeah. Huh? What's wrong? Why do you have to tear the teary eyes? Whoops. Hey, you said that you wanted to see an example, didn't you? God damn it, there was no reserve. I'm at fault. Okay. No, thank you. Well, whatever. Yes. It's unreasonable. Why did I turn out to be the bad guy when she wanted to see an example? I'm not sure if this will really work. Don't be too much motivated. No, even if the sword is covered up, if stopped, you will get hurt. Perhaps a Simon is trying to use me with practice so that Emoshiti's heart can get some vital training. Hey, 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 hey. I'm using my footwork to move left and try to dodge Amoshiji's trust. And it's not really hard to do. Because Amoshiji also understands that she cannot hurt me, she goes all out with stabbing with the spear. Well, it's like this. Surely she has gotten more used to the spear than before, and her stabbing speed is also sharper. But when comparing Amoshiji to the Kada Gunbe, who is called Gunbe of the Spear, she's honestly only that of a kid level. If it's this kind of level, it is not necessary for me to pair with my bamboo sword. <sighs> okay, she she said feet, so <clears throat> and not the top part. So the most important part is safe. Oops! Damn it! As someone, she saw my footwork and is planning on blocking that food. Spear and sword are different and the reach is the long part beyond my imagination. A spearhead comes flying towards me close to my feet. Well, no matter how you look at it, you actually have experience with something like that. It wasn't a spear actually, but a long sword. A really long sword. Shin Pachiro's sword. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Asimon's directions are working. Mochiji's trust has increased its sharpness. No, I'm wrong. Her speed is constant. From before, when she stabbed at me several times due to a swift attack, she could get tired. This is also the result of her strength and stamina. And you were bleeding lazily all the time, right, Suguha? Oh, shot it. Right here, Amoshiti cannot expose her clumsy side to her opponent. If I change the trajectory of the tip with the bamboo stick, I take one big step forward. 
there. Uh oh. Phew. By the looks, Amushi received my Moon Sword on the top of their shoulders and blew off to the back. Eh. Good grief. I could somehow keep my face. <laughs> Good text. No, back at you. You should feel sorry for making me go serious against her. Hey, Mushiji, can you stand? Hey, Mushiji. Then, the look of the collapse of Mushiji felt disaster. Instead of calling it a disaster, she couldn't move one an inch. Hey. Oh, shit. Don't tell me I was right. Wait. I think I mentioned that in the comments previously, right? That she might be the one from the incident. I think that's what I said. At that moment, a flashback hit my brain. Then a loss of memory came running, rushing back to me. Hey, Mushiji, you're okay? I rushed over to Mushiji and I lift her up in my arms in confusion. No. No, 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 no. Okay. You didn't kill her, so. Really, man, calm down. Please wake up. I'm desperately shaking Mushiji's body around. Hey, Mushiji! Okay, if only it's unconscious, not unconsciousness here. Mushiji, Mushiji! <sighs> Thank goodness. She opened her eyes. Although I sign relief, my knees are trembling. ちょっとだけ頭が痛いですけど。それ、ハバレディ。ねえ、やさおとこそ大丈夫かおがまっそうよ。どうしたの稽古で相手が気を失うくらいよくあることでしょ。すごはさ。え?えへへへ、it's <笑> Well, I guess the dark blue night sky absentmindedly, I think back upon what happened in the past. That is a bitter memory for me. Uh, yeah. What are you saying? There's no way that the weak Ryo could ever take one head. I was childhood friends with the young girl called Ria. From her childhood, she used to follow me around all the time. Oh, so she was a pain in the ass, basically. Kind of. Mm. Yep, that's I, I had to check the comments because I my memory just went blank. And yeah, I mentioned that that thing, so basically I predicted <laughs> what that might be. <laughs> oh man. Surprising but also pretty awesome. Uh continues. Let's continue. One way or another, she competed with me and she was a girl that hated loose. Eh, well, Emoshi isn't really the person that hates to lose, I guess. My house also had a Kendo dojo, so this Ryo naturally also started to learn Kendo. But her Kendo skill wasn't at a good level. Impossible, you and I are different levels. Yeah, right. Man... Fukami player has won by taking a beautiful man hit. 
<laughs> Tojirio. Rio, can't take one head from me. You don't need to stare at me like that, a loser is a loser. Well, for Rio to be able to beat me, a thousand years of time won't even be enough. Don't come hitting me from the back all of a sudden. Damn, Ryo immediately clung to my sister in tears. いつでも私を頼ってね。でも、小尻お姉ちゃん、リオ、いつまで経っても素顔ちゃんからうん。もうちょっとだけ頑張れば、すぐ派なんて簡単に追い抜けるわよ。え、もうちょっとで。だって、すぐ派は私に全然構わないでしょ。Don't <笑> At that time in the major Kendo tournament, I achieved good results and my childhood friend Rio equivalently didn't have it. Rio was only serious to no recommendation and she came to practice without seeing it, but she didn't even get stronger at Kendo at all. Even as a training partner, I didn't feel it was any fun to trade with her. And me, that was in the middle of awkward age of my life, even my concerns for Rio is something I stopped embracing. And one day... Uh, hey! Ah, uh, it's Andrea. Uh and me practice. So if if so I'll just do some practice swings. It just got like that. I just don't get any practice with you as a whole. I'm already aiming for the win the next tournament, so don't get in my way. Hey, you. It doesn't matter how much practice. If you are darn talentless, it will be in vain. Wow, that was so low with text like that. Don't kid around, there is no industry yet. Well, it will end up very bad, right, Proof? <sighs> Alright, let's go a little, okay? I understood that it was an obvious provocation. But because she was so persistent, I responded to the provocation. One swing and I'll beat her up one-sidedly. If I do that, she wouldn't ask me to train with me a second time. Yeah, yeah. Rio's posture is the orthodox Chuda no Kame. Kamae, middle level posture. I didn't feel any intimidation from that. Because Rio is also short, even if you draw a bamboo sword with Chuda no Kamae, it is very hard to only reach my man. So her usual pattern is to aim for the easy Kote forearm and the torso. It looks like she picked up some training with my sister. Her offense, she will draw from Jodan no Kme upper degree posture, so I'll flip her with my bamboo stick. <laughs> hey. Whoa. She's aiming for my man. Uh. Again, with the man. She think I will falter to the unexpected man hit? Why is her man reaching me? Eh. 
damn it. Really stepping in, she has become more sharper than she was before. But stamina is low. <laughs> okay, Suga has stamina always low, low as well. What is going on here? This Sakiri is suddenly... I see. Meister taught her this stepping in technique. Damn it, Meister has no right to do that. She's getting carried away. Don't think that you can surprise me for long with that repetitive man hit. <laughs> what? Now she's switching to Kote? <laughs> what are you saying? It's shallow. <laughs> that was close. While I was busy with Ryo's man hit, she came leaping with a surprise Kote. I said promptly that it was shallow, but according to her judgment, it was weird of her to think that she took a point. Since when did Ryo get this strong? <laughs> Ryo's ever facing offense becomes my defense. Her stepping in is also fierce and her pounding in is also blow by blow correct. In addition, it also seems that she has heard my witnesses from my sister. Damn it. <laughs> cut it out. I said cut it out. <clears throat> I'm having a hard fight against Ryu. How is that possible? I will never lose to Ryu. Ryu should get hit by shower blows and should cry afterwards. I... well, I thought that I should definitely not lose, so I lost sight of myself during the fourth game with Ryu. Eh, that's wrongly put. I imagine it would be frightening to lose against Ryu. So I ran away. The result led to that. For an opponent to lose consciousness during practice is something that happens a lot. I'm sure it happens a lot. But how much of a possibility is it for them to not regain consciousness? Oh, shit. Yeah? Ah, sorry, what's wrong? Oh, fuck! So that's how it actually went. The not waking up from unconsciousness? That wasn't mentioned before. Oh, it's because I got heated up. I'm really sorry for that. Apologize several times to make yourself feel better about it. No, it doesn't matter how many times I apologize because I won't feel any better. Or rather, I can only apologize to the best I can to be saved. Uh, are you feeling here or something? Like experience dizziness? Okay. By looking at her, her reassuring expression encouraged me. The expression doesn't look like false cheerfulness. Eh? <laughs> Oh, 
でたっても甘えん坊さんなんですからだからなかなか大きくならないのですよでもすぐはさきなこは餌もちゃんと食べてるのに大きくならないのは変ですよね I hear the sound of dark green leaves falling. And then I hear the tickling tender sound of Mushichi playing with Kinako. Hey Mushichi! Yeah, could you listen to my story for just a little bit? It's about the dream I had. So I begin to talk. I talked about the incident that happened in my previous world. About the younger Ryo that looked exactly the same as Mushichi. So, that's the dream I had. Which is actually not a dream. When my story concluded, she was breathless. It doesn't come to a surprise. I talk about this me in the dream being from several years ahead in the future. Of course, the story of what I did is in the introduction of the dream. And yet it had a reality. Don't know that my dream ended there. A lie. In reality, since me and Trio had that incident, and we haven't seen each other since then. If it's about my parents and my sister, ah, uh, no, let's just leave it at that. Yep. For many months and years, I couldn't hold the bamboo sword. So I ran away from my problems and looked for other fun things to do. But I couldn't find anything. I had a dead guy, and it was unbearable. Nevertheless, it was scary to accept the bamboo sword. No, I mean to accept reality. Eh? Why wouldn't it be? What? How is it possible that she would think that? She's so slow after all. The current me. Who knows? The current me. The current me can hold a sword. Well, not really, because the, the true one, real one, disappeared, right? We have no idea where he is, actually. After Suguha borrowed his body? <laughs> With the time travel? Something like that? No, but seriously, what happened to the Suguha that was living there? Because the future Suguha traveled back in time, and the other guy disappears completely, right? And when Suguha dies or something, the body and and soul disappears as well. So, what the hell happened to the other one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Until a while ago, the feelings that blew through my heart as Ventre was vanished by Emushi's smile. My regret and anxiety sank into the depths of a kind heart. And then not only did I sink in, but I had a feeling that the words help but was put in also. Me at the time was a smiling person and it was the first time I realized that I could be softened up by people's feelings in this way. It was me who preserved a bond by my armor called Samurai, but this smile. If Omshiti could sit next to me, I have a feeling that the suffering that lies ahead is also something that I will be able to overcome. July 26th Alright, with this we should be okay. This day, since morning, I have been preparing for a trip in secret. Because today is June 24th, the 18th in Edo there will be a decision about Asano Daigaku's punishment. And the contents of that punishment is something the Chamblin in Imashina ought to already know. And the Chamblin is going to have the Maruyama meeting 4 days after today, so the 28th is the day the revenge will 
be decided. And if it comes to this, maybe sometime today we'll get news or something from Osaka. And thanks to not seeing a Simon this happiest of days, I could prepare without worrying. I don't know where she might have gone, but it was in my favor that she's absent. Is that true? Is that really true? Hmm. It seems that Emoshi finished her daily routine and has returned. It's obvious that Emoshi doesn't know about the Shogun's punishment, so there is also normal preparation for her. But in a day or two, the news should arrive in Kyoto, so it would be troublesome even if we took it easy. Because I wanted to check with Emoshi directly, I went to the place that made sounds. Emoshi, sorry to barge in like this. Eh? But. Uh, what? When I looked inside the bathroom, there was Kinako being embraced by a naked Emoshi that was soaked in pleasure. What are you doing? Why? I'm out of this place. Well, when well, did you come back? Nice to see you. When I turned around, a someone that got home and just went this fray. Yeah, no, no, that would never happen. I'm telling you, you're wrong. What is wrong with your mind, woman? Why does it turn out like that? Don't believe everything you hear! It came. Soka Kinsuke. That should be Hayami's alias. When I get the letter, I turn around to Mushi. Shiji, bath times over, get dressed immediately! <laughs> Why don't you read the letter yourself? After I read the letter myself once, I handed it over to Emushiji. Yes. This letter is from Hayami. You will know when you read it. But honestly, you don't need to read it out loud. Simon can't hear anything about this! Yeah, it is. It seems that the hope of the family restoration has been severed. Again, Shhh. Asayamon might hear you, damn it! Now that the hope of the family restoration has been severed, and the meeting, the Chamberlain should decide it on the revenge. Yeah, I have it already prepared. I need preparation if something like this would happen. More importantly, we should talk to a Simon with the appropriate circumstances and go down the mountain. Yeah. 
知人に不幸があって、急遽行かなくてはならなくなったのです。<笑> What kind of misfortune? あらそう。そういうことなら仕方ないわね。申し訳ございません。She'll say something. I'm going with you, right? 別に謝ることじゃないわ。せっかくの都なのだから、ゆっくりしてらっしゃい。い,いえ、すぐに戻ってきますので。Yeah. I will gladly return to her as fast as possible. Actually, Suguka, we don't really need to go because we know exactly what will happen. Tuesday the next day, we'll leave the first thing in the morning. Actually, Emoshich would have to go. Suguka doesn't need to go. By all right, this evening we are, we prepared for tomorrow and had to go to rest in a good time. As one would expect, Emoshichi looked like she was in shock, so she was still up without going to sleep. Emoshichi! Uh, It looks like you can sleep, huh? Uh, When I came to the garden, Emoshichi was stroking Kinako's back gently. By doing that, her own feelings would probably calm down. Kinako that got stroke also seems to enjoy it as she closed her eyes and surrendered to Emoshichi's strokes. Emoshichi, are you maybe scared? Eh? Uh, no, it's just that we knew this day would probably come, so I thought you might have gotten scared. Okay, okay, let's not go that far. <laughs> Emoshi. I see. The cult of Emoshi not being able to sleep is dead. When it comes to the hope of the family restoration, it has been severe. The feelings of despair and fear of vengeance are the things we have. But can she herself join the revenge myself is... Hers... what? But, but can she herself join the... Revenge... Myself is... What the hell does it mean? I must just be the girl's concern, yeah. So what are you going to do? Are you going to play it in front of Chamberlain once again? Don't think so. I think you will have to fight again. Probably, I guess. It's exactly like what Emoshichi is saying. At the Maruyama meeting, even if she pledged to join the Loyal League, the possibilities are next to slim for Emoshichi to get approved by the Chamberlain. But she must join the pledge. To see in history, a warrior called the Yato Emoshichi will participate in the revenge. And I commit myself to the flow of the history. No, I have no other choice but to have faith in her. Yeah. We'll have faith. And we'll see in the next episode how this will go. So for now, hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.